today. So please welcome Chef Yannick and um, bienvenue, Monsieur. Merci beaucoup. Bienvenue. How are you? You're great. Welcome. So maybe I will do it in French. No, it's easy for me. Eh? What do you think? You want the translation? Un peu. No, I will okay. try my best. Great. <laughs> I'll try my best. Uh, thank you. I am very happy to be there with you to, today, and uh, I will uh, present you some two very simple dishes, like we present that in stay in Dubai, and uh, the things you can make very easy at home. So the first one is a siba tartar with a ponzu jelly, and. Uh, I will start with, uh, I don't know the meaning English of that, Nave? Uh, this is uh, radish. Radish. It's a or daikon. daikon. Okay. Oh, great. So it's a big radish. Yes. I washed it before, of course, huh? but we have to slice this. Uh, very thin? Not very not thin. Not It's thin. Fee, five, uh, half, half of centimeters. Huh? Yeah, okay. half a centimeter. So not too thin. Not too thin. And that, we need five slices for... One, pe one person? One person, okay. five slices for one portion. And then after that, I will cut it. I will just take the heart of the radish, you know, because uh, um, in the, that side, that... Uh, where the peel is? Yeah, yes. where the peel is, it's small, stronger, and uh, you, you it, can eat it, it's too It's hard. too strong, yes. too tight. Yeah, okay, too strong. So then I just took the, uh, take the heart, ah, and okay. of course, I save that to make the jelly. Ah, okay, so no waste here. So it's very important to, to pick up all the flavors of yes. the produce. Yes, yes. Yeah. So he's using the center of it for yes. eating and then the outer area to use in making the jelly. So he doesn't waste. So after that, Alexandre made, uh, put the water in, uh, in a pan like that. You want salt. water? Yeah, I've got lots of water here, chef. <laughs> I've got aquapana water. Wow. The best. It's the best to cook. Oh, the best to cook okay. with, to drink. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's for Peter. It's Peter. <laughs> so we need, uh, you know, to put radish in water to take, really take, have the taste of it, huh? to make the chili. So you, you, you cook it for 20 minutes, okay? Three and minutes? Twenty minutes. Twenty minutes That's to get enough. the flavor. That's right. So it's, it's like you're making a stock, right? Yeah. It's kind of stock. It's kind of a stock. So the other one is poached in another, in another water. Okay? okay. So during this time, I will cut the sea bass. So, uh, Why have you chosen sea bass? Uh, you know the texture of the fish mm. uh, is uh, not so soft. Yes. And, uh, it's firm enough. Yes. And also the, the taste is, uh, is soft. So yes. we can use scallops, yes. fresh scallops, and try to, to use wild fish. Wild fish, yeah, it's because better of the than, flavor. Yeah. Okay. Actually, one of the dishes that Chef Yannick did on the night that I had dinner at the restaurant was sea bass, and it was delicious. Oh, in a classic way, eh? Yes. <laughs> you know the French uh, food turn around sauces? That's really our signature. Yes. Yeah? And um, we, we really want to transmit, translate for, for young chefs how to make sauces because, uh, you know, so, so to, make, to do modern cuisine, I think you, you have to learn really the classic before. The basic sauces. Yes. yes they're very important, especially in, in traditional French cuisine. You have to understand all the mother sauces and how they're made, and then you add on to them. So you're making strips. Little D's like that. So the D's are, you, you do it like, uh, you know. Small cubes. Small cubes, but not so small. Huh? Mm. We need to have... Uh, texture? Texture. Yeah. Because this is a tartare. This is a tartare. So we need to bite into something. Correct? Yeah. And it has to be super fresh. Of course. May we? May we? May we? May we? So 
So no frozen fish will do? No. Absolutely no, no. not. You really have to take care with that kind of preparation because you can be sick if you don't take uh, the right produce, okay? Yes. And uh, do it. Yes, whenever uh, you're reading raw seafood, raw fish, fresh, you have to make fresh sure. Fresh you can do it. It is super fresh, sashimi fresh. Yeah. What's another nice fish uh, that you could use if you couldn't find sea bass, let's say? So, uh, white fish, dorad, mm -hmm. you can get it. Dorad? Dorad, it's, uh, I don't dorad. know. Dorad. Dorad. Sea bream. Sea bream. You can have... Uh, That's easy to find a here. A white fish in area. Any white fish. Uh, mulet, red mulet. Anule. Mulet, mulet. Cod? How about cod? Cabi cabio, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But fresh cabio also. Mm -hmm. But the finna is definitely the bar. The sea bass is, uh, sea bass is the, best. the more luxury yeah. meat you can find. So, um, in, the, in the stay restaurant, we, we, we imagine to, to put a um, bibliothèque pâtissière, you know, that we finish all the dessert in front of the customers. Ah, uh, yes, so you make the pâtissière in front of them, live. Yes. Very in nice. Life. Sorry. Beautiful. Okay. So, for the seasoning, it's uh, very simple things. We put just olive oil in it. Olive oil? Salt. Extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. And that gives it a nice shine and flavor. Mm. Fleur de sel. Oui, fleur de sel, sea salt. And you really have to make the seasoning just in front of it, huh? mm -hmm. because we need to, to save the salt crunchy. Yes, if you put the salt before, it will become mushy. Yeah. So at the last and minute, you put the salt. White pepper. White pepper. And then I save the leaves of the radish. Okay. Ah. And uh, you will have the same sauce and the mustard. You know, so, so to be the, the force come from there. Yes. So the piment come from uh, the leaves. Yes. So he's using the leaves of the radish. So, maintaining the same flavors. And it's a very strong tasting leaf. Yes. Yes. So, you use it like, uh, you know, the mustard. Or yeah, like, like mustard tartar. leaf. Yeah. And of course, the green is nice in the preparation. Mm -hmm. So we will make the, the jelly now. So I extract uh, 450 grams of that liquid when it's done. When it's when done, it's you cooked. want about 450 so, grams. Yeah. Uh, the radish has to be well done and cooked. Completely cooked. cooked. After that, you put it through a chinois yes. just to save the liquid. Okay. Yes. And then after that, we have uh, jelly. Uh, Gelatin leaves yes. that you've soaked in cold water. Yes, we, uh, and really you have to put it before in water, a, a large... Uh, a large amount in, of water? Yeah, 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 because we need to, to really wash it and to, to, to become clear. To become yeah. clear, yes. And then you squeeze out the gelatin leaves and you're going to put them in the hot water, mm -hmm. right? Sorry? Agar agar, not for that, that kind of preparation, because I... You, as you know, the agaraga make the jelly um, broken, you know. Broken. So I, I, I want really a jelly very soft in mouth. So that's why we don't use agaraga for that. Generally, agaraga, you use it for hot preparation. 
also, and you can mix the both. But for uh, jelly, I, I just use uh, gelatin. Okay, and. Um, Now, sometimes, Chef, the gelatin leaves are difficult to find. Sometimes you can buy it in powder form. Yeah. Gelatin powder. That's okay to use? That's too? okay, of course. Yep. To use. Uh, I don't know where you can find it in Abu Dhabi, but in France, you can, uh, in pharmacy, you can get it easy. The gelatin leaves? Yeah. Oh. You can actually find it. At the supermarket? Abella Supermarket. So, yeah, and fine foods, by the way, also, right. you can find it. So that one, um, uh, any leaves? Uh, it's two grams of gelatin. Two grams of gelatin. Yeah. Ça fait chauffer ça? Vas-y, mets-le à moi. What is ponzu? A ponzu, it's a mix between soya sauce, water, vinegar. Uh, uh, bonite, uh, bonite séché. Bonite. Bonite, the fish you can, you can uh, amashi, amashi. Bonite, where, I don't know. It's a the fish. Where fish, you know, but sorry. It's a mix with, uh, you know, it's a pre you you buy it like that. So they they prepare for you the the, the ponzu, but the ponzu is uh, soya sauce, very good soya sauce. Uh, there is uh, lemon. There is a bonite, it's a smoke and wear uh, fish. So they wrap fish. it and they put that in, the, in, the, in water, mm -hmm. salt. So it's dry. Bonito. What is Bonito. it? Sorry? Bonito. Bonito. Okay. But in a Japanese store, you can find. You can buy it in Japanese yeah. stores, yeah. Of course, you can, you can do it your, yourself, but it's not. Yeah, uh, fine foods. Mm. And you have to take care of what uh, uh, the, the water when you cook uh, that preparation because you don't have to put a lot of salt because the ponzu is salty. It's very sad because of the fish, so right? So take care. Yeah. And uh, I prefer to put salt in the hand to mm -hmm. see what's happened, if it's okay or not. But really, when you cook, you need to, to put salt in it. Yes. Salty water. Yes. But of course, um, do it carefully. Eh? Mm. So you never boil uh, the water for, with gelatina, okay? You warm, you warm it and that's it. Gently, yeah. till it uh, dissolves. Yes. So then after that we put the ponzu, okay? So you, you will see the, the jelly become like a consommé, mm -hmm. knife color. And after that, that is... Uh, the lemon juice? This is yuzu juice. Okay. What kind but of juice? I think yuzu. 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 I think you have the proportion on your sheet, no? What is yuzu juice? Yes. No. Ah. Any replacement, chef? Mm. Taste. That's great. So. See, these are the perks of the job. I get to taste. Yes. Thank you. And it's very light. Mm. Citrusy. So, yes, it's citrusy. Mm. So when it's cold, you, you, you have really freshness. You know, and for to, to, to be... Very nice. Surtout, là, but if I didn't have that yuzu juice, would lemon juice do okay? You don't do that recipe. Oh, you don't do the recipe? <laughs> <laughs> you do some... No, you can... You, uh, of course not. I mean, it's not the same, but would it work? <laughs> yeah, you, you can change the recipe. <laughs> I no, but in that way, of course, you can use le lemon juice. Also. Okay, okay. I will tell you a story. I, I, I came 12 years ago to make a promotion for, for the Bourget Arabe in Dubai. Mm -hmm. And uh, Jean-Paul Nakin, the chef at this time, showed me, you know, the citron caviar. Citron caviar, yeah. And so I never saw that before. So yeah. I, I bring back the, 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 the lemon to France and uh, we, it, it's become... À la mode, you know. Really, it's anyway. fashionable now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, there is uh, someone who produces in the south of France. Huh? Who sell it? Amazing. Okay, tu as les petits navets, tout ça? It's 
magique. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, uh, I will form it in a... Melon baller. Melon baller? Melon baller. Okay. Cuillère pomme That's de terre. That's what we call it. In France. Say pomme de terre for potatoes. Yeah. Cuillère à la parisienne. La parisienne, what do you pomme call it? Pomme de terre parisienne. Pomme de terre parisienne. Oh, pomme de terre parisienne. When you cut potatoes parisienne. like that, it's comme de, yes. pomme de terre à la parisienne. For par, uh, parisian potatoes, yes. they scoop them. So then, you will help me, huh? You put it inside the cuillère, the spoon. I have to try? You have to do. I have to do. Okay. Anything you It's can Sunday. do, I can do better. In France, we don't work Sunday normally. Yeah? <laughs> okay. I can do it. Press it with the... Yes. The I was going to do that. Mm -hmm. Press it, press it. Press it really hard. Yeah. Okay. Great. Just to get the form. Okay. Observe. Voila. I didn't Great. even have to tap mine. Voilà, monsieur. Bravo. Well, can I work in your uh, restaurant? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I go back tonight. Come with me. <laughs> Very beautiful presentation. So he can Sorry. see you. So he can see you. Okay. <laughs> sea salt again on Some it. Some fleur de sel. Yeah. Sea salt. Fine porcelain from rack? Yes. Yes. <laughs> so then uh, you will put it in a set creuse, like a bowl. And this would be one portion. This is one portion. One portion. And then after that on it, for the smoke taste, we will put some... Uh, Nori. Nori. Huh? So you cut it with, uh, with the scissors. Yes. Scissors like that. And definitely you have to put it a la minute and just before serving mm -hmm. to save the crunch, crunchy uh, mm -hmm. texture. So just at the last minute you put your nori. Yeah. So that you just serve the jelly in the middle. So how long did that sit in the fridge to uh, solidify? You can do it the day before, you know, to, to, to be quiet and, you know, and it, yes. it will become, you It's know. It's very wobbly. Yeah. Yes. And the thing interesting is the... So you make a, a pretty flower. C'est une belle fleur. Voilà. C'est gentil. Oui. <laughs> I like this chef. He feeds me. Mm. Delicious. Oh, merci beaucoup. Oui. Great. Hey, C'est magnifique. Merci beaucoup. It's finished. Thank you. Beautiful. Very easy, yeah? Very easy. Uh -huh. Anybody can, well, yeah. we try our best to do as best as the chef, but it's delicious. And when you have your ingredients, mise en place, everything is, you put together, yeah. right? And uh, really will you prepare it in the, in the morning before recite your, 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 your friends and do it in five minutes, it's done. Yes, huh? and you impress them. Yes. 
I hope so. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's okay. All right. So we're off right. to dish number two. Numéro deux, s'il vous plaît. Dish, excusez-moi, pour le shot. Sorry, the second one is uh, uh, we 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 will uh, prepare a frigulat de sarda. It's a pasta where under the sun in Italy. Okay, and uh, I will prepare it like a risotto, and uh, you will see the result is very interesting. Okay, first question. What's a fragola sarda? Fragola sarda is uh, pasta made. It's a kind uh, of pasta? A kind of pasta, very small pasta. Is it made in the traditional way? Is yes. Is it flour and water? Yeah. Yes? And flour from, uh, and, and they mix it and they, they, they wear it under the sun. Ah. Uh, so it's, uh, uh, the taste become from there. Mm -hmm. So we need um, chais, kind of chais. I don't know the, the, the French name is cebet. It's like a leek, but it's shy. Oh, it's the baby leek. It's not baby leek. It's, it's not like baby an onion. Leek. An onion. It's an onion. It's kind of onion. It's a kind of onion. Okay. It's called cebet. Okay. Cebet. But we could use an onion. Yes. Yeah. Or shallots. You don't. Or shallots. So if you don't have the French. But if you uh, use onion, reduce the quantity eh? because uh, uh, onion is stronger. Very strong. Yes. Yeah. So. But shallot is mild. You yeah. can use shallot. So then. We cut it in small pieces like that. Ciselé is called in France. Mm -hmm. So to cook it, put some olive oil. piece of butter. French butter? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> it can come from Switzerland. No, of course not. It's no matter. Oh. French. That's, that's one come from Brittany. <laughs> from Brittany, yeah. Un peu de thym. Fresh thyme. Petite gousse d'ail. Garlic. Garlic, just the whole one, because yes. you just want the flavor. That's right. We will take it off after. And that we we have to cook it well done. Well done. Without coloration, so you have to take care of it. Even if you have uh, uh, too, too much heat, mm -hmm. you just put water to stop. To stop the cooking. Yes. Yeah. So if it's too hot, a little bit of water will reduce the temperature because you want it to cook for quite a while and so it doesn't burn because the garlic is not nice when it burns. Yes. It's terrible. So we call that étuvé. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Very slowly. And watch. This is a good quiet. time to have a drink. Yes. Would you like a San Pellegrino? Yes, with pleasure. I will serve it to you. Voilà, monsieur. After that, we'll have champagne. It's better. <laughs> champagne. This is much better. This is uh, sparkling yes, water. Good. San it's Pellegrino. We can have the aperitif. No? <laughs> so then. Start to, to, to sing you. So you put your fragola in, okay? Mm -hmm. And you're going to saute it with the onion? Yes. Uh, in that time, you really have to cook it, you know, in the grease with the onions. And any piece of, uh, of pasta has to be coated cooked it with grease, you know, to with be around. Grease. Yeah. Yes. It's very important. It's like a so risotto. You're, you're coating every grain with the oil. That's the trick. Is it similar to couscous? No, because couscous is cooked à la vapeur. Yes. 
looks like couscous. That's okay. Now we have a veal stock. The stock? What kind of stock? Veal. Uh, uh, veal. No, chicken stock. Sorry. Chicken stock. And we bouillon. Have bouillon. Poulet. De poulet. Oui. And we have to cook it now slowly and put uh, stuck and stuck and stuck. Like until risotto, 50. huh? Like same. Like same things. And we, we will uh, cook it around 15 minutes, okay? 15 minutes cooking. Like a so we have time to have a San so Pellegrino class. We have another sip of San Pellegrino. <laughs> and watch our Gagano stove cook as well. Wonderful. They're reliable and they're good. Even heat. Never any trouble with it. Yes. yes. Excuse me, chef. Pardon. Uh, I run the Maurice Hotel in Paris. Uh, uh, right now, it's uh, the, in the Shangri-La Hotel Bordeaux. Yeah, and uh, we have the last service tonight. Yes, and tomorrow back to the kitchen again. <laughs> you ever been in Maurice? No? no. You should come. <laughs> and we run also the, uh, the Cheval Blanc in Courchevel. It's a very small resort in the mountain. It's the property of Mr. Arnaud, the LVMH group. And uh, also we, we, we take care about the food and beverage uh, of uh, the Royal Monsour in Marrakech. It's the, the hotel of the, the king of uh, Mohammed VI. And it's quite, uh, it's a really this nice palace. This is a new restaurant for you in Marrakech? We, we opened it in last June. Last, last June. June? Yes, it's a very nice hotel. Hmm. So now as this is cooking, it's going to um, absorb yeah. the liquid and you add more? And we will Maybe. reduce it mm. and three or four times like that, you know. Okay. And uh, I don't put any salt anymore because this, uh, this stock is, has salt. is salty and I prefer really add mm. the salt in the hand because okay. we will put parmesan, we will put boutargue. Uh, oh, yes. It's a... Uh, boutargue, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, mulet uh, eggs, smoked. The eggs. Maybe you can smoke the eggs. Yes. And you want me to pass it around? Yes, one that is paraffin. Yes, please. Okay, this is paraffin wax here. Yeah. Yeah. So he's not putting in the salt now right away because there's going to be this in it, which is like a cured uh, potage. What? Let's ask the chef. Yes. Yes. It's very strong. Ah. It's a speciality from Marseille. Okay, I'll, I'll try to repeat it. Anyway, pass it around and see. Some ladies were asking where your new restaurant is again. They in, in Dubai? In Dubai? The yes. one in Dubai that you This is the one and only on the Palm. The other one, the one in Marrakech? Yes. Courchevel? Yes. yes. Busy. Huh? In, uh, just uh, across, uh, in front of Mamounia, and you have the Tukubia uh, in, the, in the middle of, the, of the, the city. Somebody else had a question? Instead of that, Sorry? If, she, if she can't get this botarga, what can she replace? I think the uh, risotto is the base of many things. So I use that. You can uh, put some veg in it. You can put truffles on it. Fish, you can truffles. Put any, any things you can put in with risotto. But uh, I love that product because it's smoked mm. and uh, gives uh, something different. To the, yeah. to the fragula, but it's really uh, th that base you can use it for 
different things. That, yes. Uh, you know, in Girolds, if you have some mushrooms, you can put Girolds. Yeah. You so make the Girolds saute on the side and put that in before yes. leaving in the kitchen. So, you know, it's really a good base. Even morel was mushrooms are nice too, huh? Yes, that's yeah. true. And also, uh, if you want to save it like that, you can put a very nice leaves, gold leaves like that and serve it with a piece of veal or, you know. And uh, I, I used to give in that kind of event, some different things like that, this kind of base. And I think you have to take that, but put your imagine, imagination. Imagination, in, yeah. Because huh? you have a neutral base, a foundation, yes. and then you can put whatever you like that won't clash, anything you'd like the flavor of. Where does it come from, the Boutarga, this one? Boutarga, Marseille. 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 France. South of France. Marseille is a little... Any other questions? It's a sunny place. <laughs> What's Ponzu? What's Ponzu, chef? Ponzu, it's a mix between soya sauce. That was the one from before, the first... Uh... Uh, salt, bonito. It's that dried fish. And lemon. And lemon. It become now it's getting thicker and yeah. it's absorbed all the water, uh, so. uh, the stock, I should say. The problem is you have to follow it, you know. You yes, you have do to watch. Else. Yeah, no, you can't go talk on the phone. <laughs> so you, you need a lot of San Pellegrino to do that. <laughs> <laughs> well, a lot of cooking sometimes, uh, you can't just leave it alone. You have to be involved. Yeah, it's you really have to take watching. care because yes. you, you have to, like a, ri a risotto, when it's done, you have to put it in plates and go. Yes. You, know, you, you yes. can't have any... Uh, yeah, it doesn't wait for anybody. No. See? Yeah, more. Sure. You need more, yes. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> it's supposed to be al dente, right? Si. Yeah, but it still needs a little more. Mm, but it's delicious. Two minutes. Mm. Any more questions while we're um, cooking away? Had I sual bil Arabi? Inside? Ah, it's not matter. You have to put a lot of radish in water. Okay? Um, in fact, in the pan, you have to put all, when you have four, four or five people, okay, you put all the rest, the, 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 the radish you, you saved, you saved the middle, and the, the, the other side you put in water. So uh, uh, the pan has to be full with radish and full with water. After that, you will have the taste of radish. In the gelatin leaves, correct? She's no, asking she about asked, the gelatin leaves. How, how, many, how many leaves or how many radish you put in water? So, first of all, you make the base. That means you, you take water, you, you put salt in water, and you put your radish in, you know? But, okay, so that, you cook it uh, until 20 minutes, okay? You put that liquid through a chinois, and you save 40... Uh, 450 grams for five leaves. D did, you, did that make sense? Do you understand? You put gelatin in water. In water. Cold, cold water. In huh. water. You don't, you, you, don't, you don't save the water. It's just to, to make it uh, yeah. soft. Okay. I think you were just asking about the gelatin leaves initially. Yeah. Just yeah. a lot of water because it has to soak. Yeah. Okay. So it's ready. Look. So then the text. You see the texture. Yes. You, you, it's getting you, creamy now. Yes, that's creamy. Naturally mm -hmm. creamy. Mm -hmm. So then we will put parmesan. Mm -hmm. Wrap à la minute. It's better to to squash it à la minute. Hein. To grate it. Yeah. And then that reason I, I told you take care with the salt. Okay. 
Yes, because the Parmesan has so much salt in it. It's very salty. And then... And you see that? It's Beautiful. It's like... Um, uh, like creme. Like creme. Oui. So, we put a touch of cream, cream. whipped cream. Whipped cream. Whipped cream. Uh, you have it. Ah, uh, <laughs> let's bring it back. Who's got it? Who's trying to get away with it? <laughs> Who has the butarga? <laughs> we need it back, please. Thank you. Um, no, it's made with eggs, fried eggs. You are like I'm going to shoot. Alex, Alex. Yeah. Okay, there's a real interest in this ingredient, chef. So we need to explain to everybody. It's, it's, I'll let the chef explain. Fish eggs, and it's been dried and smoked, but the chef is more knowledgeable about this than me. Chef Yannick, could you give us just an explanation Thank more? You. Everybody wants to know more about this, please, how it's made. Okay. I will finish that, and I will show you after. So then you put a prepared cream inside. Ah, in, just to add on top. Okay. And then on it, you wrap that. As well, you grate a, a little bit. Not a little bit, you have to put, huh? Hmm. It's very important. How is this made, chef? The? How, it, how do they make it? Okay, so they, they catch the fish, of Catch course. the fish. Before, it's very important. Catch the fish, any kind yes. of fish? No, mulet. Mulet. Oui. Okay. And then, mulet. Mulet. Mullet, grey mullet. It's known as grey mullet. It sounds better in French, by the way. Mulet. Sounds a lot nicer. Okay. So, and uh, they, take, they, the they take off the eggs in one piece and they smoked it. Okay. They salt, smoke the eggs. They salt and smoke. And after that, they, they save it in a paraffin. When it's done, they put it in paraffin and Wax. You, you can save it like that for more than two and three years. Wow. It can be yeah. saved for more than two or three years and then in the paraffin fridge, wax. Yeah. And how do you keep it? You keep it in the fridge? In the fridge. In the fridge. Yeah, yep. in the fridge. And uh, of course, it's a very traditional way to, to make conservation. They do that for... Uh, Hundreds of years. To, to move and to travel in boats. Yes. That's why. That was a way people. people used to preserve, obviously, by smoking and adding salt and drying. That's a technique that all cultures... And the original one cultures... is like that. It's big like that. Before really? Before smoked. Wow. Mm. So before it's smoked, it's about that, and then yes. it shrinks as it Not smokes. That. Well... Yeah, <laughs> whatever. So that's it. Does that answer everybody's question? Now you know what this is.